Welcome to another Practical Physics Walkthrough and today we're going to look at another Godalming College Physics Department experiment that you'll be doing as part of your first year practical work and we're going to be looking at measuring the wavelength of light uh, using a diffraction grating. Here's the sheet that you use. There's loads of different bits of CPAC that will be assessing you but it's mainly uh, the setup and experimental measurements uh, but also CPAC force because we really want to make sure that you get getting good data from this is, is probably the skill. If you haven't done diffraction grating in theory yet I strongly recommend that you read this first then cut to our friend uh, Antonine Education Flick to their waves topic and within the waves topic is a whole page on diffraction. You can skip through and it will take you from GCSE, give you the basic concepts, give you a few worked examples, let you practice, show you the derivation of the theory and then crucially show you this experiment in its setup. And this is effectively what we're going to try and uh, do. We're going to use uh, the fact that when you pass white light through uh, a diffraction grating, um, so that was actually just for a single slit diffraction, but if we go further down it's got the diffraction grating, uh, then you can actually measure the particular wavelength based on the uh, based on the the order and the angle and the fineness of the diffraction grating. So, let me go back to the experiment sheet. Here is the setup. One meter ruler this way, one meter ruler this way, that way we can measure an angle. Okay, so we're not going to measure the angle directly. Uh, we're going to put a filament lamp there, and we're going to look at the filament lamp through a diffraction grating. Let's have a quick look about what that looks like when you set it up. So, you can see you've got a meter ruler set up with another one set to T and you've got a diffraction grating there. We've got, I've got a webcam here because we're going to be looking through the diffraction grating so you can see what you can see but normally that would be you looking through it. And here we've got a 12 volt lamp. I actually find that sticking on 12 volts is a little bit too bright so you might just want to slightly crank down the voltage and you've got a lab pack over here you don't need to measure the, the, the voltage. It doesn't even matter if it's AC or DC. Uh, so it's a really, really, really simple setup. Uh, the clamp stand's just there for the, for the webcam, so don't worry about that. So this is what it will look like when you look through the diffraction grating. You can see the one ruler coming up through there, and we can see the other ruler going across here. You can see the 12 volt lamp and then crucially you can see the spectra, the first order spectra and the second order spectra on either side. What you're going to do is take a pencil and working with your partner, position that pencil so that it is, shall we say, on the red. So you take red on this side and carefully write down whatever the meter ruler measurement is there. And then go to this side with your pencil and look for where you can see red again. And have a little look and take the measurement there. Then you could do it for the second order spectrum. And annoyingly I've got a source behind me. I'll try and cut that off. Uh, where's my pencil? There it is. So I can go red there and I can measure it off the ruler. And then I can come to this side and again red. And I can measure it off from there as well. So I've got two rings. Of course, I could do it for uh, other colours as well. And I will leave it to you exactly how many different readings you should take. But the principle is that rather than trying to go from the centre 
to the outside by going from order to the order on the right order to the left you're doubling the angle and it makes it less important exactly where that center point is so you might have noticed I have got the white light set roughly at 50 but it doesn't really matter there isn't a graph for this experiment the analysis is purely numerical but uh, you will have to perform several calculations and of course your percentage uncertainties compared to the error uh, is is vital for you to think about on this there's probably a greater degree of uncertainty than just the instrument uncertainty involved so if you're going to have to be very 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 careful in order to to get good values hope this has been useful and enjoy the experiment